Well, here we go again then. Jack Reeve, Talk Norwich City, back for another video. Norwich City face Blackburn Rovers at 5.30 on Saturday. It's live on the telly and this is the preview for it. Um, a positive start for the Canaries um, coming off the back of the World Cup break with a 1-0 win away to Russell Martin Swansea. It was far from... Um, far from perfect and, and far from straightforward, but we got it done. And I think that was the most important thing. Um, so really pleasing about that. I must say, before we get into today's video, a massive thank you to our sponsors, Betmate, who are continuing to sponsor the previews throughout this season. They are the go-to sort of fancy football betting type app. I use them every week. I love it. I know a lot of you guys love it as well. If you want to get involved with their stuff, there's a link in the description. You can get yourself a free £5 bet. All of the information you need is down there. Head over. We're going to be running pots throughout the rest of this season. You can come and play against me, Chris, other people in part of the TNC community. Uh, you'll love it. It was really intriguing to speak to Kenny McLean. Um this week and I think it was really revealing and um, he was really honest about how Norwich City have been this season. I think he, he kept calling us passive and I think that's a really um, honest and and perfectly fair assessment of where Norwich have been this season. They think they're good enough um, and they think they're capable enough to get promoted this season and that excites me because you know the fact that they know they haven't been at the races for the for large parts of this season is amazing considering we're fourth, fifth in the division, fourth in the division, um, and we're six points behind Sheffield United. Kenny could have quite easily have come on there and said, yeah, well, we haven't maybe been playing as well as we could have done, but we're picking up results and we're happy with that. There's, They're not happy with where they are and they're not happy with how they've been playing this season. And they know they need to improve and I think they have the capacity to do so. If you haven't watched the podcast with Kenny, I'd, I'd recommend it. I hadn't really heard him speak at length ever. Um, and so I didn't really know what to expect when we interviewed him, but he was engaging and informative and willing to answer whatever question we threw at him. Um, and it was really fascinating to hear his thoughts on Dean Smith and Craig Shakespeare. Uh, so head over there and and give it a watch. It's it's Blackburn on Saturday and and they are a fascinating team. Blackburn they're yet to draw this season. I'm pretty sure maybe there's a couple of um, instances where this hasn't happened. But if they go ahead, they win, and if they go behind, they lose. They there is very rarely swings in Blackburn's games. They're a, they're clearly a very entertaining side and a side that have been doing well this season. They're a, a place above us in the table. They're third. Um, as I say, they've yet to draw 12 wins, 10 defeats compared to our 10 wins and 7 defeats. Uh, so they've lost more games than any of the top seven. Um, the only other team uh, who've lost 10 are Reading. You've then got to go all the way down to 19th place Stoke to find another side that have lost 10 or more games um, basically everyone barring two teams in the top 19 in the table have lost less than Blackburn so they're vulnerable they have some clear talent in there they've got Brereton Diaz and um, and Bradley Dack up front they've got Tyler Morton who's a who's a really um, uh, dogged uh, loan, loan signing um, and uh, yeah it's a it, it's a team packed full of, of championship quality Um but Norwich City, I think, will go into this confident. It was it was nice to hear Dean Smith say that they were happy with their defensive duties against Swansea. I think they said that, or he said that they could have played another sixty minutes and and Swansea still hadn't wouldn't have scored. Kenny seemed very happy with the way that they performed against Swansea. As I say, it wasn't pretty, but it felt comfortable. I think there were a few opportunities for Swansea, and maybe um, they would have thought they deserved more than a point. But to, to come back, oh, sorry, more than a, no points, they, I think they probably thought they deserved a point. Um, but to come back from a, an international break and win, I think is important. I think it's, it's crucial that we stay in touch with that top two. I think it's probably unlikely we get in there, but keeping touch will at least give us hope. And also the fact that our, our fitness is is um, slowly returning to full strength. Campwell, Nunes and Ramsey will all be back. I think it means only kind of three senior players are out now. So Sam Byram's out, Jakob Sorensen is out and Johnny Rowe give it a go. 
uh, is out. So you've got Adam Eder to choose from. You've got Big Andy to choose from. Suddenly, there's a whole lot of depth to this Norwich squad, and that's going to be so important for the second half of this season. Um, I was, as I said, I was imp- I was impressed with the defensive work against Swansea. It was nice to see Josh Sargent playing. I thought he may have missed out, so it's nice to see that he's fit. And Timu Puki, I mean, whatever you say about this man, he scores goals in the championship. Seven goals for him now this season already and four assists. He's became, he's become sort of, he's always been unselfish, hasn't he? But even more so, I think he's important to the way that, that Norwich play, important to the development of Josh Sargent. So Puki's been brilliant. And you just look all across that team now and there's almost two players for every position, which is which is really good. This feels like a big month for Norwich. Um, I hadn't realised until I was looking that four of our next five games are now all at home. Um, You've got an an FA Cup clash in there against Blackburn um, during that that period. But the next five look um, important. So it's, it's Blackburn on Saturday. It's Luton on Boxing Day. Reading at home. Watford at home. Blackburn at home. There's a game, there's a run of three games all at home, the 30th of December, the 2nd of January, and the 8th of January, the, 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 the last of those being the cup game. If you can get through these with three, three wins from four in the league, you're suddenly in a really healthy position. I think it's clear that Dean Smith isn't going anywhere from now until the end of the season. I would be amazed if he were to be swapped out unless he were to walk or we went on an incredibly bad run but I don't see either of those things happening so I think we're we're stuck with Dean Smith and I say that in in the nicest possible sense you guys know that I I like what Dean Smith's about I think there's um glimpses of what we could be under him and it's important that we get back to winning ways because you know, Kenny was saying in the podcast, they know that the fans aren't happy. They can hear the boos. They don't like the boos, obviously, but they are also very aware that they have to perform to a better standard to get us back on side. So it's going to be a fascinating second half of the season. I, I'm still relatively confident that we're good enough to at least be in the top six, partly because I don't think there's much quality in this league this season. But if you've got a fully fit Norwich City squad, I think on paper it's the best in the league. And for that reason, I think we're going to be okay. Um, Defensively, it wouldn't change too much. I thought Isaac Hayden was really good against Swansea, and I think he's going to be crucial from now until the end of the season. I like what Gabriel Sarra is about. As I say, you've got options. I can't imagine Cantwell returns straight back into the side. I think there's more chance of Nunes and Ramsey returning straight away. But I'm confident for this one against Blackburn. I think we've got the beating of them. uh, And I'm hoping we have. Let me know what you think down in the comments section below. And I'll see you all again very soon. Bye-bye.